加拿大卫生部上个月已经批准本国适用于六个月至到四岁儿童嘅新冠疫苗。咁而由上个星期开始，卑斯省亦都正式开始为已经登记嘅儿童提供疫苗注射。咁究竟疫苗嘅剂量同成人有啲乜嘢分别？咁而幼儿接种疫苗之后嘅副作用会否比接种其他疫苗强烈啦？唔系今日嘅健康与你，我哋就请嚟医生为大家讲解一下。目前，卑斯省估计有超过二十万名婴幼儿符合新冠疫苗接种资格。温哥华沿岸卫生局医疗卫生官 Mina d e w a l 表示，提供俾六个月至四岁幼儿嘅疫苗只需要二十五毫克，而成分与成人所接种嘅相同。This is the Moderna spike vax v a c c i n e Um, it is、uh, it is a quarter of the adult dose, so it's a very it's a small dose for, of course, small children, six months to four years of age, up until five years of age.、Um, it's and it's in two doses, so two doses, eight weeks apart. In terms of how well the vaccine works,、um, the vaccine produces a similar immune response as it does in adults. 佢指出，六個月以下嬰兒嘅父母亦都可以為佢哋嘅孩子註冊登記，並且喺佢哋足夠大嘅時候收到預約接種邀請。而好多家長擔心小朋友接種疫苗嘅安全性問題。杜威醫生則強調，兒童接種 mRNA 疫苗之後，患上心肌炎同埋心包膜炎等嚴重副作用係極為罕見，大部分幼兒只會出現輕微反應。All vaccines, like all medications, have reactions. So I think that's that's important to say. Those reactions tend to be mild, of course. Otherwise, we wouldn't be offering the vaccine. So I think it's important for parents to know that the reactions are mild.、Uh, they can be a local reaction, so a pain at the injection site, or or in general, a bit of fever or irritability, or or kids being a bit more tired than usual. 根據臨牀研究數據顯示，提供喺呢個年齡層嘅新冠疫苗產生嘅免疫力以及耐受性相當於成人疫苗。但係，德沃醫生提醒，喺新冠變異病毒嘅威脅之下，尚未接種新冠疫苗嘅兒童應該盡快接種，以減低重症同埋死亡率。So children in general have milder illness than adults do, and I think that should be reassuring for many parents.、Um, so we've certainly seen that. Now、um, that's children in general, but in young children, there's a slightly higher rate of hospitalization from COVID than in older children, and and so that's why we really want、uh, parents to to immunize their children to decrease the chance of hospitalization. 好啦，今晚嘅健康與你就講到呢一度